Hi everyone, for today's video, I'm going to be collecting a saliva sample using the saliva kit that my healthcare provider have um, mailed in to me. So basically, if you have a close contact but you, you don't have any symptom, the healthcare provider actually wanted you to wait 5 days before you do the test. And right now, since the Omicron variant is on the peak, if you go to your testing site right now, most likely you're going to be waiting a long time to get tested. So the best way right now is to order a saliva test kit from your healthcare provider, since you have to wait five days anyway, uh, to get tested if you're asymptomatic and do the test at home. And you can either mail in the test or drop it off into the uh, lab so let me open this thing for you so you can see what's in it so when you open it what you'll see the first one will be your test kit okay and then you'll have some instruction guide on how to take the test you'll have the uh, specimen bag and you have a prepaid package to return it to your um, healthcare provider. Okay, so let me open this. So you'll see here that you have a tube, and you're going to see the tube have a line right here. Basically, you're going to have to fill this tube up to the line with your saliva and that does not include the bubble so if you have bubbles you're going to have to wait for the bubble to go away and then you, you spit in the tube again to fill it up so this is not from here it's actually just from the end of this sticker right here up to that so that's about an inch and you want to make sure that 30 minutes prior to collecting your sample that you don't eat drink chew gum or smoke or basically don't put anything in your mouth 30 minutes prior to collecting your sample. So if you can see right now, you're going to spit on this tube, fill it up to there. So let's do that now. So for me, no matter what I do, it always takes, uh, I always have a lot of bubbles on my uh, spit. So it'll probably take me about 10 minutes to fill this up. So to help remove the bubble, you want to uh, tap it. So as you can see right now, uh, some of the bubbles have already uh, mixed into the liquid saliva. So now I have enough liquid um, samples to close this. So I'm just going to go tap it a little so that when I take this thing out, the saliva is not going to... Uh, Spread everywhere, okay? So I'll take this thing out. And then you want to cap it with this one. And uh, you want to make sure that when you close this, that you will hear a pop. That means that the seal for this blue agent has been opened. So let's go ahead and do that. So let me go close it and close it tight. Okay, and I see that the liquid agent, the blue agent, it's now part of the um, saliva. So what you can do is you want to shake it for about five seconds to mix them together. So for my health care provider, they want me to replace this barcode with this information right here. So I'm going to fill this out. So you may not need to do this. Yeah, that will depend on um, who sent you the kit. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this thing out and put it right over here. Okay. Then you want to put it into the specimen bag so your specimen bag will have an absorbent pad so you don't want to remove that just you know in case there's any spill so put it there close it and you can actually bring this into the lab or if you have an option to mail it you can actually put it back to the box where you receive it from 
Okay. Okay, and then use the prepaid ba uh, bag that comes with it, and then drop it off to your local UPS store. So, at least for my uh, provider, they use uh, UPS to receive their packages. Okay, and just mail it in, take this thing out, and drop it off to your local UPS store. I hope you found this video helpful and please make sure to click the like and subscribe button to help my channel.